So how do we find the molecular mass of calcium dihydrogen phosphate? Well, it turns out it's a fairly straightforward process, and I'm going to use the following table to help us organize the information. Bam! So the first thing we have to do is identify the various elements in this compound. So I see I have an element of calcium, I have hydrogen, I have phosphorus, and I have oxygen. So you're basically just labeling the letters, all right, or the elements, essentially, that you see. Next is to consider the number of atoms of each element we have. So there is a subscript of one here for calcium. So that means that calcium has one atom in calcium dihydrogen phosphate. Hydrogen now. Uh, in dihydrogen phosphate here, there are two hydrogens. But you don't have one dihydrogen phosphate. You have two of them. And therefore, there would be four hydrogens in total. You take the subscript here of hydrogen and multiply it by the outside subscript. All right, for the dihydrogen phosphate. So that means there is four. Same thing with phosphorus. The subscript is one, but then you have to multiply it by two. So there's two phosphorus. And then for oxygen, same thing. There's four oxygen here in dihydrogen phosphate, but then you have two dihydrogen phosphates. So therefore, you got to multiply that by two. So that's a total of eight. Now, all we're simply going to do is then multiply these number of atoms by the mass of each particular element. And guess where we look for the masses? Yes, the periodic table. So let's take a look. Here is the mass of calcium. 40.08, hydrogen is 1.01, .01, phosphorus is 30.97, and oxygen is 16. And these are now going to get written down. Now, they will represent grams per mole if you're talking about molar mass, or AMU if you're talking about molecular mass. All right, so let's write it on down. So calcium was 40.08, hydrogen was 1.01, .01, phosphorus was 30.97, and oxygen is 16. To find then the total mass of the element in the compound here, all you're simply going to do is multiply this row together. So to find the total mass of calcium now, it's simply 40.08. Because it's just 40.08 times 1. For hydrogen, it would be 4 times 1.01, .01, so that's 4.04. .04. Here we're going to multiply uh, 30.97 by 2, right? So that's 61.94. And then we have 8 oxygens, so we're going to multiply that on out. So that's about 128. And then to find the total mass now of the entire compound down here, all you have to simply do, add this column together. That's it. So when you do that, it comes out to be about 234, 234.06. And since we're solving for molecular mass, the units here are in AMU, aka atomic mass units. All right, easy as that, guys. Not bad, right? Thanks for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Check out some more of our videos. We have thousands of videos out there, not only for chemistry, but physics and mathematics, and there's more to come. We'll see you soon.